Hi everybody. Today, guess what I'm going to make? Calzone. I made them a couple of weeks ago for my family and they absolutely love them. Um, the dough I use is the pizza dough, which I have a video, but I'm going to tell you what's in here. There's some semolina flour. I put some cornmeal because it gives it a texture. Salt, pepper. I would say a small, maybe three quarters of a cup of olive oil. Flour, and that's according to weather. Uh, sometimes I use six cups, sometimes seven. You have to just basically feel the dough and make sure you know what to do. And salt and pepper. So I made the dough this morning. I'm going to make three calzones. I'm going to put one, which they all seem to love, the pepperoni. It's got pepperoni, which I chop fine. You don't have to. You can cut it in pieces, but I like it fine. It's got ragot, mozzarella, and grated cheese. Then I have one with sausage, peppers, and onions. I'm going to add some ragot to that and some cheese. And then I'm going to make a plain one, which is with uh, ragot, cheese, and mozzarella. I'm going to make three of them. So I'm going to show you how it's made. It's a very simple procedure. So now I'm going to try to roll this. You don't want it too thick. I don't like thick doughy things. I like things to be crispy. So I'm going to show you what I do when I put this in the pan. See, it's rolling pretty good. I don't seem to be having a problem. Now, when I put it in the pan, I'm going to take a fork and I'm going to make holes in it. What that does, it doesn't make it thick and doughy. But if you like a doughy calzone or doughy pizza, you can eliminate this, this procedure. So now I'm going to put it in the pan. No, maybe I should fill it first. That would be a good idea, Angie. Jonas, can you help me, please? Here, honey. Uh, I'm going to try to get, don't put too much. Put, you know, a good amount all in here. Put it all in here, honey. Yeah. yeah. As much as you can. You want a bigger spoon? It will be better for you? No, that's fine. Okay, put more. Put a lot because I have quite a bit there. Okay. Even a little further down because I have quite a bit of dough. We'll do it this way. Okay. Good. I think that's good, right? Okay, now we're going to fold it over. We're going to press down because you don't want this to open. And I noticed that I have quite a bit of dough here. So I'm going to get a knife, cut off some of this dough, okay, and I'm going to brush it with some oil. What the oil does, it makes it crispy on top when you bake it in the oven, and when you cook anything like bread or calzone or pizza, your dough should be very, the oven should be very hot because that makes it rise faster. Okay, so here's one. Okay, now we're going to make the sausage, pepper, and onion one. Sometimes you need a little bench flour, not to make it stick. Okay. Jonas, this one we're going to make with the sausage. Let me get the fork and make the... Uh... Okay. Okay, you want to put this, I think we should put this whole thing in, Jess, Jonas. What do you think? Okay, put this whole thing in, honey. And then I'm going to put a little grated cheese on it. Okay. Got it all, Jonas? 
we all have clean hands. And this here, I don't want to go up there, but what I'm going to do is just put a little grated cheese over it. Okay? I'm sorry if I'm being a little messy today. But that's what home cooks do usually. Okay, I'm just going to put a little grated cheese for flavor. And I seem to have this extra dough, which I don't like. I'm going to cut it. Maybe out of that I can get another little calzone out of it. Okay, thank you. And put some oil on here. Okay. And the next one we're going to make, Jonas, is going to be just the cheese that I got. And the, no, you want to make another one with pepperoni because we have other dough here. Yeah. Okay, let's make the other one with the pepperoni. Everything seems to love that one. I found this years ago. I bought this with my daughter-in-law in one of the... What was that company, Lisa? Pampered Chef. Pampered Chef. And I even forgot I had it. But it works out pretty good. We can get two of these, Jonas, right? We can get two. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm going to cut it in half, honey. And then you can do... Should we make both pepperoni? Sure. And then this one we'll make in the plain. Okay. Okay, so put pepperoni in here and here. I might as well finish it. That's good. That's good, honey. To have help it goes fast. Thank you, honey. They don't look pretty, but they taste good. Okay, put some oil on these, and then the rest of this dough we can make plain, okay? Yeah, I'm going to have to get another one. Okay. These could go in the oven. And I would say the oven is at 450. And I would say about 35, 40 minutes. But you got to check them because everybody's oven is different. Can you put this in the bottom oven, honey? And I'm going to get another pan. And we'll make the others. Okay, what we did, we put four in the oven that we made. We made some with pepperoni, mm -hmm. and we made some with sausage, peppers, and onions. Yeah. Okay? Now, the dough I have left over, I had a little bit of the leftover cheese, but so I thought we'd make two plain. You know, some people like things plain. Okay, so we're going to show you how this is done. We're going to do the same procedure we did the other one. We're going to put a fork to the dough. You can eliminate this process if you don't like... I don't like anything doughy, whether it be pizza, bread, or anything like that. So that's why I do this. Okay? So now my grandson's going to put half in one and half in the other. Just a little bit more than the rest for the other one, honey. That's, it. that's perfect, yeah. Like I said, they don't look, 
I mean, the last time I made them, they looked much more presentable. Uh, this time, I don't know what's happening to me. I'm losing my, my cool. But they'll, they'll be good. They'll be delicious. <clears throat> okay, make sure you seal them. And then we're going to put some oil on them. And we're going to put these in the oven also. And when they come out, I'll show you what they look like. Okay. That's one. And that's two. Okay, they're out of the oven. I just want to uh, tell you that halfway to, uh, through, we turned them to brown them on both sides. And they have a little bit of a couple of brown spots, but that's fine. They're still going to be very tasty and very good. I'm going to try to cut one of them for you. They're very hot right now, but I'll try to cut one of them to show you how the inside looks. Hi, guys. Okay, we cut them, and I wanted to show you what they look like. They're hot. We shouldn't have cut them. We should have waited, but that's okay. That's the sausage and pepper one, the pepperoni one, and the plain cheese one. But you could adapt it to whatever you like. If you like different kinds of cheeses or different kind of meats, you can put anything you want. And I've known people to put hamburger meat in them. Whatever you enjoy. I hope you enjoy these. Have a great day. Please subscribe to my channel. My son yells at me if I don't say it. Okay? Have a great day.